the crap they know 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 the crap they know
that's what we do. Concentrate a little bit. All right, I'm trying to do this real careful. I don't want to tear my letters. I don't want to scratch my letters. I just want them to come off smooth. And you see how I have to do just a little bit at a time. Not all vinyl is like this, okay? Almost there. Almost there. And you don't really want to, like I put my fingerprints up there on the letters. You don't want to do that. Try not to do that if you can. But when I have a hard time, you know I have to do what I have to do. Got to get it. Okay. And we finally have it off. Let's just hope I don't get it messed up between now and placing it. All right, so this is just the clear bangle. And we're gonna try to center it. I'm gonna, let's see. Let's see about there. It's not quite centered. Not quite centered. So carefully do this, okay? Oh, my little E. Want it to come off. It still can be placed up there. So like I said, be careful. Be careful getting this back up. So wait one second. I'm going to have to go with it. Let's see. And the E portion, the little, it's part of it want to stick to my fingers. All right. So we're going to place that. Still rub it. Rub it down. I have the rest of the E on my finger. Okay. And just keep pressing and peel it off. Okay. Now this E, we're gonna have to do surgery. <laughs> Let's do surgery on the E. See, this is what goes on behind scenes that a lot of people just don't wanna show you, you know, when things happen, it just happens but you still have to correct it. So I'm going about right there. Okay. So it's in place. All right. Now what I generally do, I generally add a little bit of heat to make sure that the adhesion is, you know, into place and all of that, it sticks. Um, this is not bad. I thought it was really off-centered, but it's not. So I have a little bubble right there. Very small. Let's take it and try to smooth it out. Okay. So it's still nice. All right. Now, you can take and put a coat of UV resin on it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it alone because I think she will still be happy. But that's your bonus footage. See you later. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Crafting Nook. I am Felicia. And today we're doing another Kintsugi um, coaster set. So um, with this being said, I'm not going to go through each and every step. I have a video with every step, but I'm going to tell you uh, that's that will be on video 186. I'll link it in the description. Okay. Um, this mold is from Molds and Shapes. All right. Today I am doing a, another sponsored by Spring. I'll be using the Green Paramorphite and the Rose Quartz. Um, both of them are by Mayspring. 
Y'all know I love May Spring, okay? Um, I'm also using Paduo Resin, all right? Um, this is the Paduo Resin, all right? That is what I like to use. And I'm gonna do this one a little bit different. I already have my resin poured. I did a total of six ounces. I know I don't need six ounces, but I have a couple of molds set to the side for them because the way that I wanna do this is a little bit different than the uh, first one. So um, let's begin, okay? So I have my resin, as I said, poured. I have my stick in case I need something. Um, and that's where we're gonna go from there. Now, let's see, you can see that. I wanted to make sure that you can see how much I'm putting in, what I'm using. Uh, with the green paramorphite, this is a small, okay, I, it's a very small um, popsicle stick. That's what I'm putting in here. This green paramorphite is really gorgeous, okay? And I'm just gonna stick that in there because I don't think I'll need any more. It does not take a lot using May Spring. It really doesn't. Um, that jar will last you a very long time, all right? Unless you do a lo whole lot of uh, resin art. So both of these are from the gem collection, all right? May Spring has a gem collection and that's what these two are from. They have a two-tone collection, they have a gem collection, and they also have a um, geode art collection, all right? So I'm gonna mix this really quick, get that in there. I did let my uh, resin set for maybe about five minutes. Okay. So that's where we're going with this one. I let it set already. Um, just blending the mica in. All right. Let's blend it quite well. Yes, let's blend it nicely. All right, I may need this popsicle stick again, but I'm just gonna sit it to the side. And my green paramorphite, do this slowly because I didn't uh, keep it in one little clump so that I can push it down into my resin. Okay. Now, um, with this, like I said, I want to do it a little bit different than the last one I did. But at the same time, it is still the Kintsugi coaster. Okay. I'm just going with a little different pattern. All right. And so when I pour, I need to make sure that I concentrate. Make sure I stay within those lines. Uh, that's good. I'm, I'm not going to add any more. Maybe I should, I'm thinking. If you don't have a popsicle stick and you can see the true color, then you don't know whether it's enough or not. So what I'm gonna do is get another popsicle stick just to be sure that it's the color that I want. Uh, it's kind of, translucent. I don't want it to be translucent, so we're going to add just a little bit more into that one. A little bit more of the green paramorphite. All right. If you can help it, do not use your same sticks, okay? Just going to add um, this much more. All right. Throw that one away. Please feel free to fast forward. I don't mind at all. I just want to, um, because I've already been through each step on this, but I do uh, like to show all of what I'm doing in real time. So 
uh, I don't mind at all for you to fast forward. Okay, this is a lot better. It's a lot better. Make sure that it's, it's blended well also because you don't want any mica floating up to the top. All right? You don't want that. So my idea here is I want to put the rose quartz on the inside of my art here. I want to put it on the inside. Pour just a little bit to start off with, okay? I know it's not gonna be much that I need, but I wanted to make sure that I did have enough, okay? Like I said, this one, I wanted to do it a little bit different um, just to add a little spice to it. All right. Let's see. And I do want to also take my little spatula here. Make sure I go over in my corners. Everything I want it to be nice. See, like that's a piece of mica there that wasn't completely mixed okay I want to butt up to my lines that's what I want to do just butt up to them and uh, because I want this two colors two colors only with the exception of my um, silver pen metallic pen which is over to the side um, I'll make sure I have that linked as well now I'm a slow worker okay so like I said feel free to fast forward um, some of you already know exactly what to do and how to do it but there are some people who are new to resin art and I'd like to, you know, help them be assisted with what they're doing. And in, in the case that they want to do something like this. Now, um, a lot of people have, has already used the Kintsugi mold. Let me move this over to the side. They've already used it. I've already tried to make a Kintsugi mold. Um, it's just, uh, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot. I wanted them so bad, and my dear friend, Miss Catherine Lees, she made it happen so that, you know, I could be able to use the correct Kintsugi mold for molds and shapes, and I'm so thankful for that. I'm very thankful. Everybody knows that when I get something, um, I'm thankful regardless of what it is or how it is. I'm just a very thankful person. Okay, just pushing it all the way to that corner there. And this one the same. So like I said, it doesn't take a lot for this portion of what I'm doing, all right? But I do, however, want to make sure that it's nice and even and everything will go smoothly as I want it. Okay. So like I said, I don't want to go over. I just want it to be enough. All right. Enough so that it will stand there because I'm a I'm gonna do this in different stages. All right, and that's what you can do. You can create your own style of kintsugi coasters. Um, to each his own, you know. You have to be creative with it. 
And if you're being creative, then you can be what you call unique. Okay. I'm gonna go with this one. Um, if there's anyone watching and listening to what I'm saying, um, if you have a YouTube channel and would like to have support on your YouTube channel, please feel free to put a heart beside your name in the comments, just a heart. And other viewers will recognize that you are a YouTuber and you're looking for support. And um, maybe you could get a view, you could get a like, a comment, you may get a dislike, I don't know. Um, I just want to be able to share that bit of information you know, because that's what we do here at the Crafting Nook. I know some people may get tired of me saying it, but the more I say it, the more it'll sink in that, you know, that's what we do. Let's put a little bit more there. And a little bit more here. Don't want to overfill it. Okay. Don't overfill. All right. Some more has to go in here. Okay. I want to make sure that we get in those corners. This one looks as if it's okay. I think I can still add another drop or two. All right. Is what we're gonna do okay and now we can go ahead and move on let me just wipe my spatula okay we can go ahead and move on to the next color all right which is my green paramorphite and I'm gonna start here Don't want to overfill, remember that. It's better to put a little bit at first, spread, and then add. All right. A little bit, and then add more. Okay. Now, hopefully, I didn't do too much on that one. And this is the idea that I want to have. Okay. Nice and steady. There's a little one there. A little one here. One here. And uh, <clears throat> this is my first time doing the Kintsugi mold in this exact uh, way so I don't know exactly how it's gonna come out but I think that it will be lovely I really do I think that it will so just as I done the other one we're gonna go up make sure we get in the corners okay like I said feel free to fast forward But some people like um, to look at each and every step. So for those of you who want to look at every step, you're more than welcome. Okay. Just want to keep trying to take it to the edges 
Okay, let me go ahead and spread this one out a little bit. Spread it out. And so this is uh, what I'm gonna be doing uh, for this entire piece. Now, when I come back, I will be doing only a clear coat, okay? I will be only a clear coat um, because this is the only color that I want remaining <clears throat> in here. Excuse me. Maybe I need to get a sip of my drink. Try to um, get this one right here finished with you all, and then I'll take you off so that you won't have to sit here and um, just watch me uh, constantly, you know, make it to the edges and things like that. Um, I don't want you to get bored with it. Okay. Just kind of spreading that over to the corner. This one as well. And I need a little more there. So I think this is going to be beautiful. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I, I do think it's going to be really nice. Uh, I don't think I need to add any heat or anything. I don't see any bubbles right now. Um, not to say one is not lingering somewhere. But I don't see any at the moment. Okay. So this one is almost ready for me to stop. Okay. So <clears throat> this is how I'm going to create this part. All right. Now, let me bring you down so that you can take a look at it. All right so it's it's really nice it's really nice it's gonna be different than the usual okay a little bit different than the usual but uh these colors are awesome they're very awesome i have to finish spreading the rest of it but i won't keep you on that all right so i will be back okay i said i was coming back you know so i wanted you all to see what I've done, you know, after everything has been smoothed out, all right? So this is what we have, okay? I, I, I'm so sorry about the reflection, okay? Really, really, really sorry. But this is what it looks like. And you want to, okay, like, it's gonna be hard for me to do this. There is a something right there make sure that you go through and check out you know what those things are you know if it's anything like it could be a bubble there's no telling what it could be all right so i just wanted to bring you back to see that that's the overall look right now and i'll be back when i put on the next layer okay i am back for the next stage um, now, I did have extra resin that I poured into the little cuff bracelet, all right? So, we're, we're going to see what that turns out to be like. And I had some extra poured into here. I just drew a design. And, let's see, was that it? I think that was it. Now, um, all I have to do is pour. I did let my resin sit for a few minutes. Um... It could have sat a little longer, but of course I am in a rush <laughs> to get this poured, okay? So I'm going to just pour it on. All right. Just pour it on. And this was eight ounces. 
okay eight ounces and I'm gonna see if it's gonna you know fill all the way up to the top um, for all four of them it's really quiet <laughs> about that Let me get this poured so looks like I'll need a little bit more so let's make sure that these are all topped off really well put a little bit more in this one just to top it off and Let's see, I think this one is okay. Let's put just a little bit more there. Just a little bit. Okay. And if you, you hold your head over and look to the side, you can see like if it's um enough in there so we're gonna leave it as that i think that's enough now i did have a little bit left but i'm gonna make around uh four ounces in here i'll just make some more and i will be well i don't really have to come back to show you you know important a uh, clear coat on the top I will go ahead and put a little heat on it not much so make sure the little bubbles pop if any are there it's all the heat I'm gonna put on it so when I come back the next time I'll be demolding with you okay Okay, Crafty Creators, I am back, honey. Look what happened. <laughs> Look what happened. Gosh. My silicone mat, it makes sure that this sticks and holds tightly. Okay. Look. I'm mad. I'm so mad. So, this part, I would have to file. All right. My mistake. I poured it. I left it because I started feeling very nauseous and I was like, oh my, oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Miss Catherine is gonna love this. Oh my gracious. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see? And it's, it's almost, it's not really transparent, but you can, there's like a hint of clarity. You see right here, you can see the top layer that I poured. Very nice, very nice. I love it. I'm sure she's gonna love it as well. Oh my gracious, this is so pretty. This is the um side that has the grooves in it. Okay, and this is the side that just has the top coat over it. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh my. I think she's going to love it, y'all. I think so. I really do. I think so. Oh, gracious. The only thing. Oh, oh my gracious. I have to do a lot of filing. Let's see, can I just, well, let me do this. Let me take all of them out because they are attached, okay? Look at that. <laughs> Moses shapes. Oh, gosh. That is an awesome mold right there. That is an awesome mold, okay? Y'all, y'all don't believe me? Get you one. I've been waiting to get one of these molds. Miss Catherine made it happen, and this is just the perfect mold, all right? It's perfect. I love it. I really do. Okay, you see here 
where I, it just went over. I don't know. Um, I tried to do it so that it would somewhat dome itself. Okay. See, like this one. It doesn't have those sharp edges there. And I poured it, but I poured it. I over poured it. And when I left it, it was not over poured. So I don't know how that happened, but this is the back. Okay, my fingerprints. Oh, get your fingerprints off of there, girl. Beautiful. It is beautiful. I love it. I'm sure Miss Catherine is going to love this. You know, she um she liked the pastel colors, but um the pastel colors I have are like alcohol inks, and I really didn't want to take a chance and do those with, with those colors. So I said, well, you know, go with what you know that is going to be right. And May Spring never lets me down. They never lets me down. Okay. So I'm going to sit that there for a moment. This was the extra resin that I had. Okay. It was just extra. I poured it all together. Um, what I'm going to do is... Uh, well, I can do it right here. Right now. Right here, right now. Let's see. Can you see me? You can see me here. Okay. Do it right here, right now. With you all. Watching... If it don't come out right, Miss Catherine won't get this one. <laughs> but it was just extra. Extra, extra. Extra, extra. Read all about it. So, you know, that's it's not going to be perfect, okay? Not going to be perfect by no means, but she can use those for... Um, decoration <laughs> and then she could use this one for a small can of something all right i don't know i might not send this to her because <laughs> it's so ugh. but you know that's what I, I drew it inside of the mold and i just poured 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 and that was the outcome um now i can go around the edges on this and i i may i may do that so I'm just sit that there. Meanwhile, this is something else that I did, and I knew that I was gonna have to do some um, filing on this cuff bracelet. Okay. So let's get it taken apart. Oh, it has such good suction, my gracious. Oh, that's cute. Oh, come on. <laughs> I shook the whole table. Shake it. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I've got to ask her what is her um, middle name. Because what I'll do is um, monogram this right here and put a coat of uh, UV resin on it. I think it's cute. Um, you know, you turn it to the side and you put it on. Something different. I don't know whether that's her type, but it's better than that blingy one. <laughs> but uh, maybe I'll show you um, how I'll do that before it's um, sent away, okay? Maybe I'll show you how to do that part. But that came out nice. And uh, when I did the top coat, I had resin left over. So the only thing in this one is it's just clear. Oh, okay. I'm just popping it all off, y'all. Um, no big deal. Just popping it off. Okay. This is cute as well. See, my fingerprints is getting on it. But, uh, yeah. I'd have to make sure that that's done. But this is another one. It's clear. Um, it's just a clear bangle. Oh, gosh, my fingerprints is everywhere. Just a clear bangle. Okay. 
and this one you could also just take um and monogram it put some initials on it and it would be nice okay it would be really nice so this concludes this video um i hope everybody enjoyed watching it uh, when i do the picture gosh fingerprints all over fingerprints is all over here <laughs> when i take the picture i will um have it so that it doesn't have like the uh overage on it okay but it is beautiful y'all it is beautiful you know it's the whole thing is beautiful and you switch it over oh it's cute it's so cute oh this little bangle <laughs> the bangle is cute though it, it really is <laughs> yes the bangle is cute so you know it's nice um we're just gonna sit these bangles like that <laughs> how about that and uh i'll take a picture and hopefully you all can tell me how you like this set for miss catherine i think miss catherine would love it because she likes these two colors these three colors actually she liked the silver she liked the pink and she liked the um green which is the green paramorphite and the rose quartz that's what this is so um if you like the idea please let me know in the comments um i'd like to um just i, I just like to know what your thoughts are um this mold is from molds and shapes she got this for me as a gift and trust me, honey, y'all are going to get tired of seeing me do these Kintsugi uh, molds, all right? You're just going to get tired of it, and, you know, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I promise it's okay. Um, the last ones that I did, where did I put them? Where did I put my other Kintsugi? In my face. So these were the other ones I did. Um, there's a video out for this one. It's actually a step-by-step -step video. And they were nice as well. Okay, they were really nice. I loved them. Um, I just love this Kintsugi layout. I do. And I tried so hard to make it myself. Um, I almost went crazy trying to make these things. But at the end... Miss Catherine made sure that I had a mold. And that is the best part of it. That is the best part. Those are the other ones. Nice effects. Those effects are from May Spring. Okay. Um, and I think when I do these over, I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to do it as the first pour, um, like I did these. Let that one sit. And then I'll put. A top coat on it I won't try to you know blend it or anything like that but another one is coming y'all another one is coming <laughs> okay so like share um, leave me a comment if you want to subscribe subscribe that's fine if you don't it's okay um, I just like to have everybody involved in what I'm doing you know I think it's really neat I think it's special I think that uh, what I my creations and my creativity is getting better, so I'm still on my resin journey. I'd like for you all to um, just join me on it. You know, join me on this journey. Let me know um, what you're thinking. Let me know what you'd like to see, because if you let me know what you like to see, then you know it'll be it'll be involving you all with what I'm doing. Okay. I like to involve everybody. I like to help everybody. So, um, if you are a YouTuber, okay, if you're a YouTuber, put a heart in the comment beside your name. I mean, you can make a comment, but make sure you go back and put a heart beside your name so that other people can check your channel out. 
they could possibly give you a subscription. They could possibly give you a like. They can give you a comment. They may even give you a dislike, okay? But you would have that view um, and you will have that support. So until then, y'all, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> wait, let me take you for a close up. Maybe you think I need to zoom? No, I'm gonna keep it where it is. But this is, I'm trying to keep the uh, the reflection off, okay? So, this is how it looks, y'all. This is the um, side with the indentions in it, okay? The indentions are on this side. This is the bracelet that I have to um, file, and I'm going to put the initials right there, okay? I think it'll be nice. You see that overage? Yeah. Um, this was a clear one. Put duo resin, y'all. Put duo resin. Fingerprints is all over it. But it's very nice. Very, 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 very nice. I love it. Um, don't know exactly how I'm going to do this clear one. But this clear one um, is something that maybe I would wear. I don't know. <laughs> this was the extra. Just something drawn. Okay. Just something drawn up there. Nothing too great. I don't think I'll send that to her, but it's just something. Um, and continuing on. Okay. It really looks nice. Let me turn it over so that you can see the top side. Okay. I know I took you all over the place. But this is, look, 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 look. Oh my, I definitely got to clean this off with a, uh, a Microsoft towel and make sure it's nice. But that would be done before it's sent anyway. Give it a few days to make sure um, no dents or anything will get in it. But it's, it's nice. You see, um, maybe I'll hold this one. You see? See how clear and nice that is look you see that oh, very clear you see it's nice it really is really is nice I love it I love it I may make me um something similar to this myself but, um, yeah, so again, <laughs> again, I must say, <laughs> uh, I will see you all on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. I know Miss Catherine is going to enjoy it. Okay. Can't forget to get my overage off. I'll get that. Won't be no problem because I'm not sending her some piece of mess. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sending a piece of mess, but I will see you all on the next video. And remember, I love you. Bye.